Hey, David, um, I wanted to just cover uh, with you what we did today uh, about punching in on the fly. So I made this quick little video, two second video, just to show you how to do it. It's really easy. The reason it wasn't working before was because we had a uh, just the wrong key command set for it. So now I'm going to show you the correct way to do it <clears throat> for punching in on the fly. So uh, as you can see here, we have the project open. And what I want to do is open my key commands by either going to Logic, Preferences, Key Commands, or the shortcut key, which is Option K. And that brings up your key commands here. And what we want to do is go to the search window. I had done it before, but you go to the search window here and just type in Record Toggle. Um, and as you can see, I already put it in, but I'll delete it and input it for you. So you make sure to select Learn by Key Label, and when that is selected, you can assign key commands by just selecting it and typing in what you want the command to be. So you just go to Record Toggle, make sure it's this, it's just Record Toggle and not Record Backslash Toggle, this one right here, Record Toggle, and do Shift R. And boom, there it appears. Shift R for record toggle. Make sure you have learn by key label enabled, and then then, then you can input the key command. Um, and once you've done that, you might get an alert that says, "Are you sure you want to replace?" Because we had accidentally assigned it to the wrong command, and you just want to go ahead and hit replace. So then exit your key commands. Um, I just have a little loop here over just some nonsense or whatever. And now you want to go to options audio and select punch on the fly so when you're doing a session or something and then you want to start punching in um, when someone's doing a bunch of takes select punch on the fly so that you're in punch on the fly mode uh, that's selected so that way you can punch in without having any pauses or anything in the playback like you were telling me about that was happening the other quick way to do that is just to go to this record button down here in the transport bar click and hold record and you can see here punch on the fly is enabled or disabled you can select it for punch on the fly so now when I record enable this track hit play and at any point in time shift R so I wasn't recording anything but as you can see I captured just the area that I wanted by hitting shift R when it approached bar 34 and then shift R again to shut it off I do it here shift R and shift R again oh there you can hear my voice la 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 shift R and there it is I punched in right there and got my voice Okay, so just a quick overview. You go to Key Commands, search for Record Toggle, um, Learn by Key Label, select Record Toggle and input Shift R, which is right there, Shift R. Get out of Key Commands um, and make sure that Punch on the Fly is selected. Um, now you don't want to have punch on the fly all the time if you're not punching in because it can cause some other issues uh, during playback when you if you want to edit stuff while the track is playing back. But for punching in, it's great because you can select it, punch on the fly, and then at any point you can hit record by hitting Shift R during playback, and you won't have any pauses or anything. It'll just come right in when you when you select it, Shift R, and then when you do Shift R again, it'll punch out. So that is punching in using punch on the fly. I uh, hope that helps.